Hunter Wireless Valve Link. Repeater, RPT, RPT-E. The repeater is a simple but powerful device that can double the coverage area and help clear obstacles that might otherwise block radio signals. It relays the wire valve output module signals to distant wireless valve links in both directions. The repeater is completely solar powered and is for outdoor use only. It's important to note that the wireless valve link system only allows one repeater per control system. The controller can reach wireless valve links either directly from the wireless valve output module and or the repeater, but you can't add more than one repeater. If it's not possible to reach all your valves with this combination of communication options, you should add another host controller located more centrally to the remaining valves to subdivide the system into reliable communication sites. Tip: Regulations require the batteries of the repeater to be shipped disconnected and almost completely discharged. If you know you're going to be installing one soon, connect the battery first and place it in sunlight for a while. This will allow the battery to charge enough to complete the installation in less time. To connect the battery, turn the repeater over and use a Phillips screwdriver to open the battery compartment. The supplied battery has a small connector at the end of red and black wires, which you'll use to attach the repeater. The connector can only be inserted in one direction, and it has red and black indicators at the receptacle to reinforce the correct orientation. Plug the connector into the receptacle. Insert the battery pack at an angle into the storage compartment. Close the cover and secure with the screw. Do not over tighten. Each repeater has a unique serial number on the bottom of the antenna. Take a picture of it or write it down because you'll need it later to complete the setup. It's much easier to record this now than when the repeater is mounted high in the air. Repeater location and installation. The repeater should be installed at the highest practical elevation, keeping in mind that it will occasionally need to be assessed for maintenance and service. It can be wall or pole mounted. The repeater location should have a relatively clear line of sight to the controller with the wireless valve output module. It should also be located as centrally as possible to the distant valves that may require the repeater to communicate. The nearest wireless valve links that can hear the wireless valve output module directly will not use the repeater, but the farthest valves that need the repeater will select it automatically because the signal is better. You'll be limited by places to which you have access, but the good news is that the repeater is solar powered and requires no external wiring of any kind. The repeater comes with a universal mounting bracket designed for wall mounting. However, it can be pole mounted with 5 16th inch or 8 mm stainless steel band clamps, which are not supplied. Any band that fits through these slots can work, if it's of sufficient strength. The repeater must be oriented to receive maximum direct sunlight, and the rotating antenna should be as close to vertical as possible. If you're in the northern hemisphere, the panel should generally be oriented south. If you're in the southern hemisphere, it should generally be oriented north. Since the antenna can be adjusted up and down, choose the best general direction and mounting for the solar panel. Then rotate the antenna to the nearest vertical position. The solar panel charges the battery extremely well, and the vertical antenna position is more important than the exact panel direction. The repeater is supplied with a universal ball mount assembly. The principle is that you determine the proper orientation, then install the mounting hardware to lock the repeater in this position. Loosen the set screw, if necessary, for the ball mount lock. Insert the ball mount in the receptacle for this purpose in the bottom of the repeater. Rotate the repeater for the proper antenna and sun orientation, then tighten the locking screw to lock the repeater into this position. With the repeater mounted and charged, it's time to set up the repeater in the app. Open the smartphone app and connect to the wireless valve output module that will operate the repeater. Click the Settings tab. Then select WVOM Settings. Then press Add Repeater. Earlier in the repeater setup, you should have recorded the serial number. You need to enter that serial number at this step. Type in the repeater serial number. If you missed the step during the earlier part of the repeater setup, 
The serial number is printed on the bottom of the repeater antenna. This can be difficult to see after the repeater is mounted, so make sure you record it before mounting. Once the serial number is entered in the app, after a few seconds, you should see the new repeater listed. The repeater may also require a firmware update, but that can be done later. This completes the repeater setup process. The wireless valve links that prefer the repeater signal will automatically select it, and a repeater icon will be shown next to them on the details page of the app. The wireless valve links that can hear the wireless valve output module directly will not select the repeater and will not show the repeater icon in the app. Repeater maintenance. Over time, solar panels can accumulate dirt, dust, or bird droppings that can inhibit performance. Schedule periodic cleaning with a damp cloth and perhaps a mild detergent as necessary. To learn more, visit HunterIndustries.com.